sometimes you will hear a story that says like scientists cured a disease in mice. Let's talk about those mouse studies and what that really means for you. So why do we use mice? We use mice because they're small, they grow fast, we can control things that they eat, how they sleep, the light, all of that. And because we can control all of those things, that makes them really ideal candidates for research. They help us test things safely and quickly at the start. It's really important to keep in mind that mice are not small humans. Repeat after me, a mouse is not a human. The dose of a medicine or a therapy that helps a mouse can be too weak or too strong in humans. Metabolism is how a body breaks down and uses a substance, and mouse metabolism is not the same as human metabolism. A mouse liver may clear a drug faster or slower than ours. The way that a mouse disease looks may not match the messy version that humans actually experience. Many mouse studies use what we call a surrogate marker and not real life outcomes like less pain or better breathing or a longer life. A surrogate marker is like, for example, something that you can measure in the blood and that is supposed to be a stand-in for how you actually feel. So when I see it worked in mice, I ask five questions. One, what exactly changed? Was it a lab number or real outcome? Two, what was the dose and how was it given? Was it by mouth, was it by injection, or is it something that we don't even use in people? Three, how long did the effect last? Was it a day, was it a week, was it months? Four, did they test both male and female animals and different ages? Five, have independent labs recreated it or is this the first time that anybody saw it? What I'm saying is when you see a headline and you see that scientists discovered something in mice, treat it as a clue, not a command. Don't change your medications or your routine based on animal data. That is premature. A great next step if you are interested in that research for yourself is to bring it to your doctor and ask them what human clinical trials are coming up for that. Because that way you can participate in potentially the next step of bringing that therapy to humans by participating in a trial. And if this helped, save it for later. <laughs>